thank you uh, for holding this hearing. The reemergence of vaccine preventable diseases, including measles, coinciding with the under vaccination is a major public health concern. World Health Organization last month called vaccine hesitancy one of the 10 biggest threats to global health, noting the shocking 30% increase in measles cases worldwide last year. In 2000, measles was considered to have been eliminated in the United States. But last year, the U.S. had its second most cases since 2000. The current measles outbreak showcases the problem of under-vaccination. It's a problem that hits close to home for me since 65 measles cases in the outbreak have mainly occurred in Clark County, Washington, a suburb of Portland, Oregon, with four in Multnomah County, Oregon, for a total of 69 confirmed measles cases. Measles exposure even reached my district with an infected person from Clark County visiting a trampoline park in Bend, Oregon. Though there have been no confirmed cases resulting from that particular exposure, this highlights the reach of the measles outbreak. Unfortunately, the case information suggests the region near Portland has been an area of under-vaccination. Most of these cases involve people who are not vaccinated, and most of those infected were children between the ages of 1 and 10. County public health officials are confronted with directing hundreds of susceptible families who have been exposed to the virus at more than three dozen locations, including a Portland Trailblazers basketball game, schools, churches, and stores such as Costco and Walmart. There are important reasons for getting the measles vaccine. Measles is a highly contagious, infectious disease that spreads through coughing and sneezing. Health officials say the virus is so contagious that if an unvaccinated person walks through a room after someone with measles has left, there is a 90% chance that an unvaccinated person will get that disease. This can be a very serious disease. Measles infection typically causes a high fever and rash. About one of four people who gets measles will be hospitalized. Infection can lead to ear infections, hearing loss, and in rare cases, brain swelling and even death. Measles vaccine is highly effective and may be one of the most effective vaccines around. Two doses are about 97% effective. And since the introduction of the combination MMR vaccine, there's been a 99% reduction in the number of measles cases compared to the pre-vaccine era. If not, it not only protects you, but others as well, particularly vulnerable infants who cannot be vaccinated. This year can help provide important information, this hearing, I'm sorry, can help provide important information to address questions for some people about the safety of the vaccine as well as heighten awareness about effectiveness of the vaccine, the importance of getting vaccinated. If we don't reverse the downward trend of vaccination, we risk bringing back measles in full force. So I welcome both of our witnesses today to provide their expertise about the disease of measles and insights into the facts and value of measles vaccine. Dr. Nancy Messonnier, thank you for your service and your leadership in various senior capacities at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the Director of National Institutes of Health, Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Sir, you need no introduction, uh, having testified probably hundreds of times before our committee. However, on this occasion, I think you should be recognized, sir, for more than 50 years of public service, including your 35th anniversary year as Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, and for your achievements. You have made substantial contributions to HIV AIDS research. You have helped develop therapies for formerly fatal diseases. Among many honors, you've been awarded the Lasker Award and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Chair Gett, I really think we need to congratulate him. So we look forward to your testimony and to learning more uh, in this committee about what we should do going forward. With that, I'll yield the balance of my time to Dr. Burgess. One. 